How are you? I'm good. How are you, Anjali? It's so nice to connect with you. Here, absolute pleasure, and thank you so much for taking your time out and coming live with Designer Dream Collection. You are looking absolutely stunning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So are you. <laughs> thank you so much. You look so much like your sister Padmini ji. <laughs> Yes, I guess now as I'm growing older, I I started looking more like her. <laughs> Tell us about you know, uh, you have been in modeling and acting acting career from so long. Tell us about your journey and what was the moment you you fell in love with your profession. So you know, way back when I was mm -hmm. in. Um, when i was in school actually i started mm -hmm. getting a lot of film offers because mm -hmm. uh you know when you're in a film based family you yeah. you start getting film offers right in the beginning so uh but i wasn't interested at that point of time and i waited so uh because i'd never done elocution i'd never gone on stage in my life so i was like you know i had this thinking uh okay i don't know i'm not sure So as I started growing older I got a lot more offers and I regret one particular offer which I got and uh, I I didn't I didn't meet the director uh in fact I even told him after that because I had auditioned with him for something else for uh, for uh, Kundan Shah's movie so uh I was very very upset why I didn't do that uh, I why I didn't go for the you know meeting so I was very inclined May Sorry. Interject, may I interject? Which movie? Which movie are you talking about? Can Can I ask, please? <laughs> I, ah, uh, kabhi ha, kabhi na. I think. Oh wow! Ah, <laughs> uh, that was the one with Shah Rukh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shah Rukh yeah. Khan did kabhi ha, kabhi na. It It was beautiful movie. Ah, uh, this is the one. Ah. Uh, Uh, which was i think uh, i hope i'm uh, getting the name correct that's okay that's okay absolutely okay <laughs> so um so i you know that was a regret uh, that i didn't um, meet up with him and then eventually i got on meeting him for another project which did not happen uh so by then i was very inclined towards my studies and i wanted to prove it to my you know parents that i because there's not been there, there wasn't any graduate in in our family so i wanted to prove it to them that i could graduate and you know i could get good marks so i was very inclined towards studies and of course i was a sports person i was a, a, a maharashtra level high jumper so i was very inclined towards sports and education and i didn't even think of acting as a profession and i wanted to follow my mom's footsteps she was in the airline industry and i joined the airline industry after my college so uh which i eventually gave up and uh, in that much time period i had started again before that little bit before i uh, joining uh, the airline industry i had uh, started modeling now how that happened was again because i got a very big movie offer and i was again not ready for it and i said you know so the photographer who in fact who's actually responsible for getting me into the modeling industry into the fashion industry was gautam rajadaksh so he's no more unfortunately and he was just absolutely brilliant and i did my first portfolio with him <clears throat> so he was the one who pushed me and he was writing this movie called bekhudi and he told me why don't you audition for that i said no gautam i'm not sure you know which was kajol's first movie it was her debut yeah, so yeah, I, i remember bekhudi yeah so i again said no to that and he said okay if you're not interested in movies why don't you uh, get into the fashion industry because you're tall and you're a great bone structure and uh, you know you're you would really fit that so i said okay let me try and i went ahead with it because i just want to kind of test the waters you know i wanted to see how because i'd never done i'd never done a, a as i said a, a drama uh, in in i'd never done drama in school i'd never done elocution i'd never been on stage so i was like 
I didn't know whether, whether I could pull it off. <laughs> so I started off with modeling and my first ad was Vimal Saris. And from then on, it's just, you know, just, I, I just got into that direction and I uh, uh, got, uh, got into Miss India. And then after that, I was in the airline industry and then I said, okay, now what, you know, I need to, I think, start thinking about acting because I've put in so many years in the fashion industry and I think I need to uh, get into acting. So at that point of time, the first offer that came to me, I picked that up. So it was a television show, which I did on Z. It was called Mujhe Chaan Chahiye. And uh, that went on for about a year and a half. And, um, I transitioned into theater from there. So for me, uh, as you said, which has been the most satisfying uh, part profession for me is, is and will always be theater. It is an absolutely satisfying uh, 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 platform. And, um, but uh, unfortunately it isn't something which can reach out to a lot of people. You know, so when I used to do theater, that time theater was very small. Now, of course, it has really changed and a lot more people are going to theater over here in Mumbai and in, of course, in metropolitan cities, in our metropolitan cities. So it's not like how it's in the West, you know, people like the first thing I used to do when I used to come abroad, when I used to go to New York, like everyone used to laugh at me at that point of time. I said, I want to go and see a Broadway musical or I want to go and see a play or I want to go and see a movie. So everybody would be like, what? <laughs> I said, yeah, I want to see the, I want to see the latest movie that's come out, you know, or I want to see the latest Broadway show. So I don't want to go shopping. I want to go and see that. So that used to be my that first thing. art. You had that art within. You had that vision from the childhood, very beginning of your career. Um, actually, it, it, it developed, you know. Uh, it happened when I started modeling. So that's when I started uh, uh, you know, seeing things around and experiencing things around. And that's when I said, you know, this is, this is really good. And uh, theater was something which I had never dabbled with earlier in school or in college. And then eventually, you know, I got into theater and it was so amazing and it was so satisfying. And that's through theater, I got my first film with uh, Anurag Kashyap. So that was uh, titled Parch, which hasn't released actually. That was my debut film. <laughs> so it was banned by the censors. So there was a whole lot of controversy with that. But uh, eventually, you know, things just kind of one thing led to the other, mm -hmm. to the other. And uh, yes, I've done a couple of projects. So I keep going. I used to keep going back into films and back into my modeling. And then finally, I got married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I just told you my entire life story. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good. That's why we are here. We want to know more about you. We want to, you have so many layers. And, you know, as we move forward with this conversation, I'm sure our audience will find so many depth in, inside you, so many depth in your work and so many layers that are within you. So tell us about your journey because there have been so many variations in your career, like from early um, childhood, from a very beautiful model to a theater, from, uh, you know, Bollywood to TV actress, and then now entrepreneur. So uh, what motivated you like I have seen your social media where you talk about nature organic products you're too much inclined toward natural products so how what what inspired you to uh, start your own brand see the uh, the professions that I've been a part of so when I used to model uh, that gives a lot of emphasis on your physical appearance Okay. And theater, again, uh, is such a profession which makes you think. So I used to, so I have kind of been a part of both. And uh, so as I grew, you know, into this profession, and as I started meeting so many people, and then especially when after I became a mother, I started thinking about, you know, what I can give to my daughter, 
right from you know her growing up years where she needs to be strong she needs to you know get everything right now because uh, i think the formative years are the most important years so uh, that's when i got thinking but let me rewind a little bit um so as i said i got married and then of course uh i was doing a couple of projects and then i you know as i said theater makes you think and i started taking on uh, a few projects which were connected with uh, you know which had social which were uh, uh, projects which had a social impact so there was one project which i did <clears throat> was on suicides farmer suicides and i did another project recently in fact uh, after my daughter was born was on water conservation so these two projects were, uh, were, were very very close to my heart and uh, it just kind of uh, you know i give a lot of relevance to these points and i think uh, people if you know you make a difference in the society if you have a little name or if you have been uh, vocal about things or if you are uh, a celebrity you know i think you should put your uh, you know put yourself to do good things for the society and give it back to them in some form so this is something which i totally believe in and uh, i try and pursue these uh, uh things so as i said my daughter when she was born i started researching a lot of products and i started researching a lot of things and i uh, have been following uh, uh vandana shiva who is a, a very phenomenal activist and uh, you know i've been very inspired by her and a lot lot many people so you know i've been uh advocating this for a while and uh, i think it's very important to protect our world and our environment for for the future for our children so i get really worried when i you know see what's going on in the world and this of course now unfortunately this pandemic that has taken over the entire pla- you know planet so it's it's scary and if we don't wake up now after this pandemic uh, i <laughs> don't know what to say i strongly believe that just when i believe more and more people should talk about environment and i'm so impressed the way we talk about uh, environment and you're so much inclined toward nature so what is the name of your brand and what are the products would you like to share some detail and give us some insight about so uh, you know when i started researching products i found a lot of products which were safe and friendly you know uh, environmentally friendly and and uh, against uh, i'm i'm also against animal cruelty so uh, so i started and what over here what happens is there are there aren't many markets over here of course things are changing there aren't like you know lovely farmers markets that you get in the west there are very limited so what i decided is that you know i was talking to my nephew who's also part of this priyank who's patni's son so i was talking to him and i said you know what i said really we need to do something because i am going on various sites and i'm trying to find something and then it comes after you know 10 days and or whatever whatever or you know now of course it's changed uh so why don't we just get everybody together and uh, and hold a pop up you know of organic products so he quite liked the idea and then we started working on it it took me about 6 months to put everything together and last year in november we started a brand called a flea by the tree which we don't we don't have our own products but we get people we we get only uh, uh, uh we get products which are uh, of a certain quality and they have a certain standard you know in uh, in them so we had a fabulous one in november and we were going to do one in march in fact everything was set and uh, <laughs> unfortunately you know this whole lockdown happened in mumbai and we couldn't go ahead with it so right now what we are doing is we are in the process of going online and we are working on it so we are taking a little more time because i know a lot of people have gone online a lot of exhibitions are taking place and a lot of um, websites have already started but we're giving a little more thought to us you know we're doing a lot of back end work we're doing a lot of we have a lot of marketing plans so we we just 
getting more deeper into the whole thing and then we will launch down the line do you have plan to launch your website or product for um, overseas people because you know this is a wonderful idea and at least i can say from my my side that i love to use organic products and that's what i like to use for my family because they're safe there are very less chemicals i mean barely no chemicals and it, it's it's a way of healthy lifestyle yeah sure why not because you know in india we have such wonderful things you know which are hand made and uh, you know it's not only about food it's even about your your uh, uh, your ahimsa silk for example you know uh, or you, you talk about organic cotton or you talk about uh, you know a traditional hand you know handcrafted product or a ceramic bowl which is uh, non toxic you know so we get into details uh, with this so definitely and you know if we uh, once we launch and we see how uh, people respond to that and uh, if we get any kind of uh, uh, you know offers from you maybe <laughs> or people in the community <laughs> so definitely we will look into it and india is so huge. and india is so huge you know in terms of herbs and turmeric and everyone's having turmeric now and and you know pepper and you know we are we are so rich we are a land of where spices are uh, are produced so uh, you know something like this if we can if we can send to you know which are organic and if we can go about doing that yes why not turmeric is not just you know restricted to india it's it's like huge it's huge overseas not even they see people use turmeric everyone knows the benefit uh, hidden in the ancient spices like you know black pepper turmeric you find it everywhere in all the grocery stores this is amazing yeah, how how far the indian spices have come along <laughs> so tejaswini aapne amli trust hai veena vardayani right did i said it right yes yes so usme aap bahut aapke jo dad aapke jo father the he was musician and you used to he used to play very unique instrument so can you tell us more about your family trust and how it it is helping the actors and singers and all the talented people during this pandemic okay so uh we have a trust called veena vardayani which is a music trust and uh, uh you know as i said i was always inclined towards sports and education and my father used to always uh, get up in the morning and do his riyas at 5 o'clock in the morning so i've grown up with music in my house but uh, i have never really actually gone down that that road you know where i would sit with my dad and feel very shy in front of him and i would run away and you know he would tell me come sit with me and you know so i i used to always run away and feel very shy so i never learned music which was uh which i think is one of the biggest um setbacks i feel but uh, i am uh, last four years i have been learning classical music because uh, i feel it's never too late to start something and uh, you know something new and i have uh, i'm so happy that i'm doing it and i have a fantastic guru who is teaching me who pushes me every time because uh, every time i feel i you know so i wish i had done this when i was 8 years old or when i was 9 years old so he said no no it's okay you just keep doing your riyas and you know it'll it'll be fine so i try and find my time which is very difficult because i put my hands into so many things i know but <laughs> yeah but also you know this this process this process that i'm going through is also to grow as an individual to understand classical music and to understand the trust that i'm a part of so uh uh you know to to be in touch with with singers to to understand what they are doing and how they're going about with things so it's very important that um that i learned the you know classical music so during this pandemic you know we decided to do a lot of live events and uh, we started doing a lot of um, live events for charity so uh our, so we we created a like a like a 
fund where uh, we started helping a lot of organizations where uh, who were affected with the pandemic you know people who were uh, who were really struggling with their day to day you know things essential so we were contributing to them and we've uh, we've done a lot of donations through these live events because the singers were talking about it we were talking about it so it was a very um, very nice and successful uh, process so in this there were a lot of artists who came forward and they said that uh, you know there are a couple of artists who are not doing too well and they need help so we've definitely we've researched about them we have uh, checked on them and uh, we've tried to help as much as possible so uh, you know we're continuing with this as well but we're doing it now on a platform where uh, we're going to be starting with ticketed shows so this is not only going to help the singers as well as our charity you know uh, uh, trust so it's very important now for people to make that little effort where you pay for that ticket so you know the singer or the or the musician or the artist is feels good you know when he gets paid for it he or she gets paid for it because it's very important to to you know do that it's very important for a person to feel good you know that you are performing and you are getting paid for it so that's the reason why now we're not doing any free concerts as such so we're working towards uh, uh, ticketed shows so tejaswini if i summarize like what you are trying to say is different singers and different artists are coming together in a collaborative manner and performing the show where we can you know go online buy the tickets and watch the show it's it's music based show right based it's classical music based so is it just restricted for indian audience or anyone can just buy the ticket and you know support your ngo and if there are a lot of people who love music they are so much inclined toward arts and uh, music so can you um, tell us more how can we you know buy the tickets and go and see the show schedule and how can we watch the show so well, this is uh, coming on a platform which i will be announcing very soon on the web page on our veena vardhani facebook page and uh, uh, the link will be shared on that and then you just have to click on the link and pay for the ticket and then you'll be able to see it so also of course if there are you know indian communities in the us who want to probably uh, have hold functions or hold small events uh, or bethak sessions you know where we can have these uh, uh, singers coming and uh, some fabulous singers who i've met and uh, who i've been in touch with and they are not only in mumbai the beauty of this is that i am able to connect with every so many people in india it's not that ki i have to fly them down or i have to you know it's we are we are doing this like how you are in the us and i'm here so it's uh, we've kind of come close closer through the internet so it, that's wonderful so you're sitting in the us and you can watch a, a beautiful performance where by an artist who's probably in calcutta you know so i would really you know if you have uh, uh, people who are interested in um, you know collaborating with us or doing small shows or events it would be great of indian heritage our culture our music our ancient uh, herbs it it is amazing and people you know we we are desi people we are indian we are living in west but you know more you live far from your country you feel more attached to your roots and i'm sure a lot of people would want to take benefit of your veena vardhani shows uh, and you know support your ngo because you are doing it for a cause you're supporting small um, artists because if you look at those um, artists it is the primary source of income and this pandemic has impacted them in a huge way yes absolutely because, because you know for the businessman they have businesses they have a lot of different sources of income if you are in job you are getting monthly paychecks but if you are artist you you work in you know when you when we say artist though so there can be so many different things like singing um handling the camera from lighting to technician 
so so many different level artists can be on so many different level absolutely I, yeah I, so tejaswini aapka jo veena vardayani um, ngo hai is it based in india or you are working virtually also uh, agar shows karne hai to aap log in person shows bhi karte hain ya because of pandemic you are doing it 100% virtual नहीं अब पैंडमिक की वजह से हम लोग अभी सिर्फ इंटरनेट पर कर रहे हैं ऑनलाइन ही कर रहे हैं और जैसे आ, ये शोज ग्राउंड इवेंट्स जो ऑफलाइन इवेंट्स हैं वो जैसे ही शुरू हो जाएंगे तो हम लोग धमाकेदार कुछ इवेंट करेंगे <laughs> तो आपने इतनी सारी मूवीज में काम किया है तो जसमिनी वुड यू लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट any project that is closer to your heart that is like you know baby and precious to you and you want to go back and watch it over and over again aisa koi project hai aapke life mein i main actually bahut hi moody hu mujhe you know i am very i am the type of person who needs a lot of space and i need free time तो मैं पंद्रह दिन काम करूंगी पंद्रह दिन मेरे को घर में बैठना है यू नो आई एम लाइक दिस आई एम नॉट समान कि मैं थर्टी डेज काम करूं मुझे इतने सारे ऑफर्स आए थे जहां पे मुझे तीस तीस दिन के लिए मेरे को टेलीविजन के लिए मुझे डेट्स देने पड़ रहे थे तो मैंने कहा मैं नहीं कर सकती आई कान डू इट बिकॉज आई एम गोन गेट बॉर्ड ऑफ इट सो आई डन अ टेलीविजन शो फॉर वन एंड हाफ ईयर्स आई गॉट बॉर्ड ऑफ इट एंड थैंकफुली इट फिनिश but i never went back to tv after that because i was so done you know it just drains you out completely and uh, i want to keep exciting myself with different projects with different things so uh to you know i am also someone who kind of agar kuch ho jaye to main na ek kone mein baith ke i will be like ah aisa kyu ho gaya you know i'm like this so i have uh, 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 i'm very sensitive to a lot of things so i have taken my time and i've done few projects which i really like and i relate to or i like the director or i like the setup so i am um, i'm i'm very choosy with, with my work so i won't say i've done a lot of work i still have a lot of work to do and there's so much of exciting stuff right now and i'm really excited to you know see such beautiful shows coming on these ott platforms which you know i feel like oh i wish i was a part of this you know <laughs> so best is yet to come but then again aisa koi to project hoga na we have seen you in so many beautiful movies you were there in ravan movie uh, <laughs> ravan was a fiasco never mind let's not talk about that um so i my first film actually maine jab wo ki thi panch jo release nahi hui तो टेलीविजन के बाद मैंने जो मेरा फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट किया फिल्म प्रोजेक्ट किया था तो दैट वाज पांच एंड दैट वाज अनुराग कश्यप डेब्यू मूवी एंड अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल एक्चुअली ऑन दैट हु इट वाज अ फर्स्ट फॉर देम एंड जब मैंने वो खत्म की तो मुझे लगा कि वाओ आई हैव डन सच अ वंडरफुल प्रोजेक्ट नाउ आई कैन रिटायर तो आई थिंक भगवान ने मेरी सुन ली और वो पिक्चर बन बन पड़ गई <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Wow, God! I think I can retire now." <laughs> it was so amazing, you know. It just brought out a different side. It just, you know, like kind of, it just, you know, twisted and turned me right from within. It just brought a different side in me, and I was like, "Wow, this is the new me." I just discovered myself after that movie, so it was wonderful. So that was that's a movie which is closest to my heart, which is my first movie. and after that i did this very recently i did a a short film called pani pat so it was actually on youtube but they've taken it off i would have uh, told you to see it um, it's um, it's done by discovery channel and um, it was for uh, there were four directors who did this uh, project so one of the directors he uh, he did this film with me and it was called pani pat so it was based on water conservation i did mention it during our conversation so it was a beautiful beautiful story and uh, in fact when i read the script uh the casting director called me he said uh, you know he's a new director he's a very young director and uh, i said okay sure no problem why don't you send me the script so i read the script and i was blown i was like i said i don't care i want to do this <laughs> you know <laughs> 
So I said, 100% I'm doing this irrespective. So I just went mm-hmm. ahead and did that. It took me about two and a half days, I think, to finish it. But I was very satisfied with the end product. That's amazing. I wish I could tell the viewers to mm-hmm. you know, go watch that movie. But if not, funny, but we can definitely go. Jin logo ne nahi dekha hai, wo ja ke aapki wo movie dek sakte hai. What was the name of the movie again? You want to tell our audience? Your... I, that's, uh, that's not released yet. Punch. Okay, so any tentative date... Can... You can watch another film, which is on Netflix. Uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix yet right now, but maybe it's on Amazon Prime. It's called Ugly. So that's also a very, very nice film. And uh, it's it's also one of the movies that's very close to my heart because it uh, is directed by uh, Anura Kashyap, who was the director of my first movie. So he's close to my heart. So... The movie is close to my heart as well. <laughs> yeah, you have worked a lot with Anurag Kashyap. Like you were in a lot of his... I've done two, two films with him, yeah. So, Sivaki, do you have any advice for the young girls? They want to uh, be the entrepreneur because you, you are so many things. You're mom, you're model, you're actor, you're now, you're a very young entrepreneur. So, what advice would you give to all the youth out there where they want to, you know, become successful and what they need to do? What things you would advise them to become successful? I think uh, the new generation, first of all, needs to stop running at the speed they are. You know, uh, you work somewhere and then you want to quit in six months it doesn't work like that so from the generation i've actually i'm in between so i've had my parents my sisters and then there was me so i have seen everything and i see my uh, uh my niece and nephews as well you know so what is important is to work towards your dream towards your passion and it eventually happens it if you have you if you just follow your dreams and work on it every single day it uh, it just totally totally works there will be ups and downs and the mistake i made which i realized so i want to share that is i stopped so i as i said i would you know go in one corner and i would think and i would say okay not now later so that not not now later me so i lost out on a lot of time so it's very important to just pick yourself up and just be at it you know there will be a lot of ups and downs and you have to have a lot of family support you know along with that of course but depends on the profession that you're in but if you have a great educational background you are able to do anything you know so i'm doing a, a, a the profession i'm in i don't need an educational background for that so it's just my art you know that i've been following and pursuing and art sometimes doesn't pay you so for newcomers who want to get into this field you have to have something which is going to pay you and then you can follow your your creative passion you know and then somewhere down the line when you're able to support yourself you can switch on to your actual main passion and uh, pursue that you know this is what i i feel and I believe in and never give up. And I, I don't have that. I have totally changed my attitude towards things ever since I think my daughter has been born. <laughs> She's brought some <laughs> fabulous changes in me. So I have this, I am someone who can't now sit at home and, you know, uh, so I am just doing something or the other. I have to keep doing something or the other. It's very important for me. Otherwise, um, you know, I get very, I, I just kind of murjha jate na. So I just kind of, I become dull and listless. Ki nahi yaar, kuch karna hai, you know? Artists always have that urge, that zest for that work, you know, that keeps you going. Ki abhi mere andar ye talent hai. I have that artist within me and I want to do something. And, you know, you always have that vision. What next? What next? So that is that should be the perspective and positive approach. How old is your daughter, Tejaswini? She's five and a half. Oh, she's, she's really small. <laughs> she's really small. <laughs> yeah, and she wanted to be a part of this. So I told her you can't come here. <laughs> oh, you no, could ask her to 
<laughs> her heart is here i know that but uh, she knows mama is now busy working so it's okay <laughs> sharing those wonderful tips and i will definitely we all will look forward to watch your uh, shows and we will definitely connect with you very soon again thank you so much it was wonderful thank you absolutely so much. and i want to wish everyone a very very happy diwali happy diwali everybody aapko bahut hi sundar sundar cheeze dikhe mile aur experience <laughs> so sweet of you to jaswani and wish you all and your full family very very happy and prosperous dipavali thank you thank so you. much anjali lovely talking to you thank you pleasure talking to you to jaswani you are a wonderful okay. person